Hello. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Amira Aroni, and uh, I'm here with Adam White. And um, we're going to speak about uh, templates. Uh, these are two distinct topics, but both of them are related to templates. And um, templates, the, the reason we're doing this together and the reason we feel that it's even important is that templates are almost everywhere. It's one of the most basic parts of um, the user experience of the editors in all the languages and in all the wikis. They are involved in one way or another in almost all edits. However, uh, in recent years, there were very few changes in how templates work. And a lot of changes are needed. So we're going to present two ideas for improving how they work. And uh, again, they are distinct, um, but uh, both of them separately will hopefully improve the user experience for editors in all the languages. And now, how do I actually uh, share this screen so it is seen? Yes, uh, now it is seen. And let's start. So uh, I will start. Um, my name is Amira Aroni, um, again, and uh, uh, in my day job, I'm the senior language strategist in the Wikimedia Foundation. And um, this is not exactly the project I'm working on officially. This is a pet project I've been thinking about for a while. Uh, I hope that it will become a more official uh, project sometime soon. Uh, but for now, it's not yet uh, so official. And uh, this is about uh, making templates global. And this is going to be a very, very short presentation. Uh, I already spoke about this in some other conferences in uh, much more length. Um, also, another little comment. Uh, this session cannot be translated, unfortunately. Uh, I did make all my slides, almost all my slides, bilingual in English and Russian. Uh, hopefully, it's helpful to at least some people. Uh, so this is going to be very, very short. Um, for much more information, you can uh, check these pages. Just go to mediawiki.org and search for global templates, uh, and especially global templates slash status. It has a few videos uh, where I speak about this topic and some other people speak about this topic. Uh, these pages are translated to a lot of languages. So um, this is going to be a very, very short presentation about the problem and the most frequently asked questions and uh, uh, the few words about the status of uh, what is happening with this. So. Um, a central fact is that a lot of the features of all our wikis are implemented as templates. They are, they are features. They, they are software. And, uh, you know, people don't care. The people who read Wikipedia in any language or Wikisource or whatever, they don't care where do the templates come from. They see, for example, info boxes. Info boxes are very common. They are iconic. They are one of the most identifiable features of Wikipedia. They appear in a lot of languages. Now, you can see here an example of an info box from English Wikipedia and from the French Wikipedia. And it's similar. Functionally, it's like 80 90% similar. And by design, by the look of it, it's also quite similar. Um, and uh, another example is citation needed, uh, one of the most uh, iconic uh, things in Wikipedia. It's also, as you can see, available in a lot of languages. And uh, another example, of course, is the references. References, technically, they are not templates. In practice, however, a lot of references, the vast majority of references, they, they have some kind of template inside them. No, these are just three examples of templates, of features that are implemented as templates. There are many, many thousands of others. This is a very rudimentary count in a few languages. Uh, you can see that in the English Wikipedia, there are well over half a million pages in the template namespace. A lot of them are actually documentation pages for templates, but nevertheless, it's many, many, many thousands of templates and many thousands in other languages. And the problem with this, like this is really the, the central technical problem, is that there is no global storage for the code of the templates. Every template is replicated in every wiki. And this is pretty awful because the functionality is mostly the same, uh, mostly, not completely. Some templates are only needed in one language, and that's fine. Some templates are slightly different in some languages, and that's also fine. However, a very large part of the functionality is the same. Nevertheless, the code is replicated and forked. 
And from the software engineering perspective, this is not a very good practice. Now, why is this important? I often say that this is the most important thing. More precisely, this is not exactly the most important thing by itself. It's, it's a thing that will be, it, it's a thing that will allow other important things. Like the really important things is making more information available in more languages. It's making the user experience for all the editors in all the languages easier. It's um, allowing new languages, new small languages, uh, and by small, I mean small online, not necessarily small in real life. They're languages that are spoken by millions of people that don't have a Wikipedia yet, and they hope they will have a Wikipedia. But once they have a Wikipedia, they will have to invest literally years in importing templates. And, and I'm not exaggerating. It's literally, literally years in importing templates from some other larger Wikipedia, like uh, English or Spanish or Russian. And having global templates is the most important thing that will allow these other even more important things. But this is the thing that we have to do now so that we'll be able to have good things, good important things in the future. And what is the solution that I am proposing? And the, the solution that I'm proposing is to make a repository where the code of the templates will be stored and available to all the languages. Now, note that I say make it possible to store the templates in the shared repository because I'm not saying let's put all the templates in the shared repository because it's similar to images on commons. For well over 15 years, we had images on commons, but we also had some local images. So if you have, if you forever, for whatever reason, for whatever technical or licensing reason, you want to have a local image in your wiki, it's fine. And I propose the same thing with templates. If you want a, a local copy of your uh, template that is important for the community that you want to keep locally for whatever reason, that's fine. I'm, I'm not suggesting to delete that. I'm not suggesting to uh, remove this um, independence. But the templates that are sh shared and whose functionality is needed in multiple wikis, they should be, should be moved to a global repository. Now, uh, another important uh, central question that is very frequently asked about this, templates have a lot of text in them. How will this text be translated? My re response, I have a much longer response, I will very briefly just say here, that um, it will be, it will look a lot like Translate Wiki. So if you're familiar with how MediaWiki core and extensions and some tools are translated in Translate Wiki, the translation of templates will be very similar to that. A similar experience, it's very robust, it's quite successful for MediaWiki core and extensions. I propose the same thing for templates. Uh, now, here's a, a very, very rudimentary simple example. Now, let's let's imagine that in the English Wikipedia, uh, in, in an article in the English Wikipedia, you have uh, like this code, citation needed. This will look up, uh, once we have the global templates, it will look up uh, this uh, page called citation needed in the template namespace. And um, uh, if it exists there in the English Wikipedia, then this will be used, even if there is a global uh, template for citation needed. If it's not in the English Wikipedia, but it exists in the global repository, the one from the global repository will be used. The same thing in the Russian Wikipedia, exactly the same thing. If, if in a Russian Wikipedia article, you try to use this template with this name, like the, this English name, citation needed, if it exists in the Russian Wikipedia, that will be used. And if, it, if it doesn't exist in the Russian Wikipedia, but it exists in the global repository, that will be used. Now, a slightly more complicated example, in the Russian Wikipedia, um, this is the actual name of the citation uh, needed uh, template in the in the Russian Wikipedia, and yet AI. And if it doesn't, if it exists in Russian, it will be used. If it doesn't exist in Russian, it will be loaded from the uh, global repository. But it's actually the same template as the English citation needed, because it will be possible in my proposal uh, to give templates multiple names in multiple languages, just like it, it is now, because it's useful to have different titles in different languages. So this is a very, very brief introduction to uh, how uh, I support, uh, I, how I suggest it will work. Uh, there's a 30 page document you can find on mediawiki.org. I won't read all of it here, but this is the very brief introduction. So uh, pro probably the most frequently asked question is, are you going to force all the wikis to use English Wikipedia templates? Uh, lots of people ask this, and the answer, of course, is no, absolutely, like, no, 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 no. This is not the intention. And the reason this is not the intention is that, uh, well, lots of reasons, because 
Wikipedia's already now have the independence to use whatever templates they want. However, an even bigger reason, and this comes really out of respect to all the wikis in all the languages, is that there is a lot of innovation in templates in a lot of wikis, not just in the English Wikipedia. There are a lot of really cool templates in the Chinese Wikipedia, which are not used in any other language. Why not make them available also to other languages? Same for French, same for Spanish, same for Hebrew, same for Arabic, and a lot of other languages. I want to make this innovation actually more available to all the languages so that the different languages will see how cool it is that other languages have something useful and just instead of importing pages and looking up strings and doing it in a very difficult way, you will be able to just use it, just easily use it from another language. I respect this autonomy. I respect this innovation in all the languages. And um, another important example is that uh, the design of the, like these are the same info boxes that I mentioned already, their design is slightly different and that's okay. It will be okay to preserve the differences in the design between whatever different languages you will have. You will be able to have some code in common um, in the repository and some local changes to change the design, to change the uh, information that is displayed. That's also fine. So this is the proposal uh, in general. What is already being done? This is not quite a project yet. Uh, what is being done already, however, so one is um, a project called Translatable Modules. This is actually in development already by the team in which I am, uh, the language team in the Wikimedia Foundation. This part will allow a convenient translation of uh, initially Lua modules, but uh, eventually probably also templates. Um, this is not yet actually using them in different wikis. This is just within one wiki. Uh, our first targets will probably be commons and Wikidata and meta. Uh, later, maybe will be extended to other wikis. Um, so this is just within one wiki, but later it will, once we have an actual global templates repository, this will be extended to all the templates. The next part is templates translation. This is a confusing name, but uh, it actually means that um, it's not so much template tr translation, it's more like template adaptation. So this is the most popular uh, community wish uh, in the latest community wishlist survey. And um, this wish is about template adaptation. So currently, for example, if you want to copy a reference, a footnote, from the German Wikipedia to the English Wikipedia, you have to go through the parameters of that uh, reference, of that reference template, and change them from the German names to the English names. And I could, this is just an example. I could give any two languages as an example. Uh, so this uh, project will hopefully make uh, using templates across languages uh, easier if they are already exist uh, if they if they already exist in the in the other language uh, abstract wikipedia i'm not an abstract wikipedia person myself there is another session at this wikimania about abstract wikipedia should you you should ask them but um, abstract wikipedia is kind of similar it will possibly be uh, uh, possible to share some technology between abstract wikipedia and global templates uh, another nice example is site q site q is a template in the english wikipedia which allows references uh, powered by Wikidata, and its developers made it intentionally so that it will be possible to uh, easily make it global someday. So there's already some work by the community to make uh, templates, uh, global templates possible. Uh, the largest piece, of course, is the in actual infrastructure which will allow transcluding the template from one wiki to another. This doesn't exist yet. I hope that this will be uh, developed uh, in the foreseeable future. So uh, I would like to finish with the vision, the Wikimedia vision, which we all know. Imagine a world in which every single human being can freely share in the sum of all knowledge. Uh, and uh, if we cannot use the same templates, if every single human being cannot use the same templates as people in the other wikis, then we cannot reach uh, this vision. So this is really about equity in software and tools. So thanks a lot. And uh, I hope to hear questions. And uh, I uh, uh, give the baton to uh, Adam. Thank you. Hi. Um, so let's see. Hopefully, I've taken over the screen. Um, yeah, and I there's not much time, but this is a shorter presentation, and I I think it's complementary. So we decided to do this session together. Um, I just wanted to talk about um, two of the problems with templates and a proposal to, that that might solve them, along with some other issues. 
Um, so yeah, since 2003, we've had the ability to have templates at all. There's an animation here. Uh, hopefully you can see these rectangles are uh, the different blocks which are transcluded. I might've made a mistake, but, um, and I skipped a few, but you can see that most of the elements on the page other than the content text are being transcluded somehow. Um, in the, in three years later, uh, templates went from being just a simple text expansion to uh, having containing logic. And so I'm calling it the, the monkey's paw here because it's this, this pound if that made it possible to have this amazing flourishing of um, functionality that we see on the wikis and uh, allowed the editors to do almost anything they wanted with wiki text. But uh, at the same time, I, I think there was a, a quite a painful trade-off, which is that um, the, now the templates are something that not everybody can edit, that you basically need to be a, a Wikipedia editor and software engineer to even touch. And uh, I'm gonna quickly show you what a template can look like these days. Um, but if it causes you anxiety to see something like this, you're not alone. And uh, in fact, in my next slide, I've, I've gotten rid of all the code. And now we just have colored rectangles. Um, the rest of my talk will just be colored rectangles because I prefer that. Um, and so I wanted to show that if, if you've looked at a template, especially if you've tried to import a template, um, you've probably noticed that a template relies on sub-templates. Um, some are uh, kind of like a shared library. Others are a smaller page that is transcluded into a piece of the template and it gets stored as its own page. There are um, bits of documentation in different places. There are Lua modules, um, styles, images that are necessary for the template to work properly. And uh, you kind of have to find these yourself. Um, the unfortunately the special export and import are not guaranteed to work they they can uh it's a little bit of a story but um they can only they can only tell you to export what is currently visible in in one rendering of the template so if there's a if statement for example you only get one version but um i'm spending too long on this point is templates are made of a, a bunch of little pieces and um they're also i think intended to work uh, on this uh now kind of old model view controller model. Um, th this is what model view controller is supposed to work like in theory, but I think what we do is more like this. Uh, there's no model, the controller is lumped into the view and the, the one attempt to fix this, which has been Lua modules, um, I think makes the problem better in some places and worse in others. And so I want to, I want to give this potential uh, implementation, which is uh, to have templates which are encapsulated in a single file, if possible. And that file would, um, if you've seen view or web components, it, it would be a similar idea, uh, or HTML itself. HTML can contain um, style sheets, uh, uh, JavaScript, text, and um, images. And so uh, the proposal here is that a template itself would contain the logic that it needs built in, it would have its own templates as part of it. And you could even have internationalization messages, styles, um, different types of documentation. It would all be built into one page. Um, I think, yeah, uh, without going too far into the pros and cons of this, um, I think this is pretty complementary to the global templates proposal. It means that if you want to make templates portable, then uh, keeping them in one place is a, a nice way to accomplish that. Um, I'll stop sharing and I'll just say that, um, yeah, I would love to have a little bit of question and answer now. We can use the etherpad to, uh, yeah, if you want to start collecting questions in the etherpad, we'll, we'll be looking there. And um, the, these component templates actually have a proof of concept implementation. If you want, you can go through the, the meeting link. You can get the slides there. You can also go to the, the sort of draft RFC that I've put on, on the wiki. And that will have um, that that will link to the software that you can use to try this out. All the examples in that RFC are uh, they can be used directly if you if you load this extension on your wiki. Um, so I'll, I'll go to the Etherpad. Wow! Thank you for taking all these notes, people. Yes, enormous thanks to the note takers. It's, uh... Really, it's 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 really really useful to everybody, to us the speakers and to everybody else. 
Uh, the first question, do our readers like info boxes? It, it looks like someone has answered there's research, research which shows they use them. Um, I unfortunately don't know too much. Do you, Amir? I cannot, I cannot cite any paper or something. I did speak to a designer uh, who worked at the Wikimedia Foundation a few years ago, and uh, they told me that uh, they researched this in multiple languages, and they said that not just the readers like info boxes, the info boxes and uh, the relatively unified look that they give to the articles is one of the central things that make the articles more reliable. So I, I don't, unfortunately, I don't, I don't think that this was published anywhere, but that's what the designer told me. Uh, you'll have to believe me. But uh, that's that's the, the uniformity of the design that the info boxes provide. Uh, they make the articles reliable. They make the Wikipedia brand more trustworthy. The next question, um, there are some templates which have been basically banned from wikis. For example, a support on English Wikipedia, common on other wikis, will there be a way of blocking templates? Um, I, I think, yes, you just, uh, or no. <laughs> well, uh, I actually haven't thought about this particular thing. Um, one one immediate thought, uh, it's not like, maybe it's not a very good solution, but one very easy thing is um, just not, just don't use them. That's That's one thing. And if somebody uses them, revert the page it's just like with an image like uh let's say that there's 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 a, a policy uh in a certain wikipedia not to use certain images from comments so are you actively blocking these images using abuse filter or something or do you just uh, expect the users to respect this so uh to respect the rule um, i guess you could make an abuse filter rule Maybe it could be built into the repository software, like the global uh, templates uh, cross wiki transclusion software, uh, some kind of a blocking mechanism to disallow this. I think it makes the things a bit too complicated. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a valid question. I will definitely think about this. Definitely like a valid concern. Quick thought is that you might be able to tap into title protection, so you wouldn't be able to create that template, and you also would then yeah, not for example. be able to transclude it. Um, some wikis use many levels of transclusion with some te sub templates, others use single templates. Is there a preference which will be used for the global template system? We will decide. Whatever the community wants. Um, currently, there are a lot of template developers in a lot of wikis, certainly in the larger wikis. Every large wiki, English Wikipedia, English Wikisource, Wikidata, Commons, uh, French Wikipedia, Spanish Wikipedia, Hebrew Wikipedia, Russian Wikipedia, they have, each of these wikis has a community of template developers. Unfortunately, the, there is no good collaboration space for template developers in different languages. I hope uh, that as, a, as some kind of a social change, a community uh, change, uh, that will emerge from this uh, uh, global templates project, there will be a community of template developers who will help each other and who will collaborate on developing and improving templates. And they will decide what is better, a multi-level transclusion or something uh, more flat. Uh, anything is fine uh, because the global templ templates proposal is not about changing the wiki syntax or changing the Lua syntax. It's only about a different uh, storage uh, mechanism and a different transclusion mechanism. But the templates themselves, whatever the templates uh, developers decide. Uh, next question is also for you. If a global template is changed, uh, who decides if, uh, or if there's a new development in a template, who will decide if that gets used in the global template, which then propagates everywhere? So it's a wiki and it will propagate everywhere. And uh, if anybody is concerned, that uh, a change in a global template can make uh, a bad change uh, in all the in all the wikis should also be considered about commons and about wikidata and uh, some of the more sensitive templates uh, can be protected for example and uh, if any wiki is concerned that uh, a certain template uh, can have a bad effect on um, uh, like a bad effect on that wiki, that a change in the code of that template can have a bad effect and protecting the template in the global repository is not good enough. So don't use that global template. Have a local copy and use only that. Uh, it's it's just the same as with images on comments. It's just that we are so accustomed 
to images from commons, which have been with us since 2004 or so, that we just don't think about this, like almost never. I almost never heard any concerns that what happens if an image in commons is changed? Almost nothing. Yes, it's possible to vandalize commons, which will affect lots of languages, but it's just the same thing. Protect the image or don't use that image uh, in, uh, in the articles. Okay, um, one more. Can shared templates and modules be kept on commons? Do we need to have another domain? Different infrastructure. It's really unimportant. We can have another domain or we can uh, keep them on commons, whatever. I honestly don't care. It's not an important question. It's uh, it's just a tiny implementation detail. Uh, uh, all, like the, my whole idea, it has almost no engineering concerns. At some point, uh, software engineers who know uh, media wiki platform well will have to decide uh, how to implement the transclusion and where will the templates reside on the new domain or in commons or in Wikidata. Any of them is okay. It, it's really not important. I, I think it's just make it just makes more sense to put them um, in a common like in a new repository, but it's really not an important thing. But this question has been asked a few times in the past, but it's really like whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, while we're waiting for global templates, is there any tooling that uh, template maintainers can use to, as a workaround? To kind of, kind of. A few months ago, um, uh, a pretty uh, prominent uh, media wiki developer, uh, in user Yurik, Y-U-R-I-K, he developed uh, a set of tools which make templates easy to copy from one wiki to another. It's called dbabel, D-I-B-A-B-E-L. Unfortunately, last time I checked, it didn't actually work. Uh, the, the server that runs it, it, it was just not responsive, which is sad. I hope that either Yurik himself comes back and fixes it, or maybe somebody else uh, takes over the code. It was a pretty cool thing. Unfortunately, it's not functional right now. I hope it will be fixed because it is a kind of a nice interim solution. But that's that's the only thing I know. The last one, you, you can read it for me. <laughs> or I can read it. Um, uh, so someone, someone posed a question to me saying, uh, my proposal is probably going to make things more complicated and take even more expertise to maintain and has a uh, appropriate link to XKCD. Um, yes, that's definitely possible. Uh, I was worried about that myself, uh, but when I worked through some examples, which I, I linked to there, what I found was that it actually did have the effect I wanted and um, two things happened. The first was that uh, whatever, whatever technologies we're using right now, so template data and Lua, whatever that is, um, that can all be copied over just like it is, um, just small changes with small changes. Um, the second thing that happens though is actually quite significant and it's that logic comes out of the templates themselves. So all you're left with is the original intention of Wikitext. It's uh, a, block of, a block of markup and in the markup you have some placeholders and those are variables. Um, all of the setting of those variables is done from logic that's external to the template. So the simplification of the templates itself, I feel is um, one of the big benefits here. And having it all in one place reduces the amount of detective work you need to do to actually um, change anything and understand it. But I think it's all, it's all an open question for now. I'd love to have someone disprove that or make a good argument against it. Looks like we're out of time. Any last question? Uh, thank you. Uh, I wish we could see and hear you, but it's been very enjoyable. <laughs> um, thank, thank you, Amir. You. Thank you, Adam. Thanks to the note takers. And uh, yeah, thanks Thanks for the questions, relevant questions. I'm open to more questions. I'm sure that Adam is also. Thank you.